Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. So um, I've got a few scriptures written down here. Um, I was just, you know, flicking through some, um, some uh, movie scenes and stuff like that. And, you know, this scene always like stuck in my mind from the movie Apocalypto. You know, and in the, you know, we, you know brothers have seen it, <clears throat> you know, people have seen it out there. And in the movie, there's a scene where basically one of the neighboring villages has been ravaged by the, 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 the bigger empire. Because you see it in the movie where they're coming to conquer, you know, it's Jake's destroying each other basically in the movie. But I believe they're like the Aztec, the Aztec empire. The, the big armies are coming to take down the smaller tribes and bring them for sacrifices. And there's a scene where the neighbouring village has been ravaged. Just before the main characters' villages get ravaged, you see it and the father tells him, look, what, like they encountered the people and they had an exchange with the people and from the rival, from the, um, from the, sorry, from the neighbouring village and they were stricken with fear. They were like distraught, you know, because their, their village had been destroyed. So you see the father tell his son now in this scene, you know, he's telling him, look, what did you see when you looked at those people? You know, they basically were, were, were stricken with fear, basically. You know, showing him you can't, basically saying to him, you can't, don't fear, basically. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this clip and, and that's in the scriptures because, hey, we live in, in a, we are in the flesh, right? We're in these fleshly bodies, you know, and we live in this, you know, messed up society. And, you know, sometimes you go through different um, feelings, anxiety, depression, fear, fear of, e e fear of, we don't, we're supposed to fear the Lord, but we're men in the flesh. What will Esau do to me? You know, all kind of thoughts. You think all kind of things. You have stress of family, fear of the, of the social services, whatever, whatever the hell it is, all these problems, but pretty much, you know, we're meant to lean our mind towards the Lord, basically, in all things, you know, like what the script, like, just like the scripture says. So let me play this here. Yeah, you go. So he's telling him not to fear. Don't bring it into our village. And that's in the scriptures. Even in Israel, in the ancient world, if if a man was to go to war and he was fearful, you didn't bring him with you because, you know, um, pretty much he could infect the other men with that fear. And like the father was telling him, it's a sickness. And in, if you, the movie is a good movie because in the you see it when that village gets destroyed by the army, his village, they kill his father and his father, the last thing he tells him is to not to fear. And you see it later, the, I believe the son's name is Jaguapur, later on in the movie, when he come, when he goes back to the forest, gets away from those those um, the the bigger empire, and they're chasing him down. You see that the spirit kicks in on him, just like what his dad was telling him. And then he basically takes them on in the forest. Basically, it's a, it's very good, man. But you see it build up in the movie. But it starts with him having, you know, some fear in him, basically. So let me read this. But this is this is this is like us in this in this fight, man, because. Anything can happen to us at any moment. We've always got these anxieties, that, you know, depending on your situation, everyone's got their hells they're dealing with. There's anxieties, there's all kind of thoughts that run through the mind, man. All right? 
So this is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, For the Lord have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear. See, the things of the flesh, the reason why they, we believe in Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, but the things of the flesh, the reason why they, they attack us is because we're, you know, we're in this world, man. We're not in a world where we can be perfect where we can be perfect to the Lord, man. We're in a world where we're doing our best in just total corruption, man. A society full of corruption. So it takes, it takes time and, you know, a growth in the faith to build up that fortified mind, man. You know, you've got to keep staying in the fight. The more hurdles you overcome, Lord willing, the more the mind becomes fortified, man. You know, you become less fearful of things. You don't, you don't care about the world uh, more, you know. Uh, you know, the, the spirit kicks on you. You, you couldn't care less more and more about this world, you know. You're growing, you know, Lord willing. So this is for the first, second Timothy 1 and 7. For the Lord have not given us the spirit of fear, but of, a, of, of power, of love and of a sound mind. So we have a sound mind and we don't fear the things that, you know, Basically, when we think of this bullshit of this world, guess what? We know the Lord's with us, man. So we don't fear the stuff of this world, man. Lord willing. And we're growing into that. And like I said, we're in, we're in the flesh. So we go through these things, different um, thought patterns. But you know what? You have to keep remembering that Yahweh Barshem Yahweh Shai is with us. It says, Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. And why is the Lord with us? Because we're testifying of him, of Yahweh Shai. He's coming back. He's going to bring down this society, you know. That's our total mindset state, man. So that's why the Lord increases that spirit of not being, not being fearful of this world or what Esau can do to us. Because why? We're, going, we're testifying him. We're testifying of him, all right? So be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. We're not ashamed of the testimony of Yahweh Shai. We proclaim, just like the Lord said, if you don't proclaim him on the earth, he basically won't. Mention you to the Father, but if you proclaim him on earth, roughly paraphrasing, if you proclaim him on earth, he, you know, mentions you of the uh, in the heavens, man. Basically, you're not ashamed. We're not ashamed to talk about Yahweh Shai, what he looks like. That he's a so-called black man. That he's going to destroy the system, current system of the so of the Edomites. He's coming back to bring judgment. All these things we ain't ashamed to proclaim, man. Okay. So be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. All right, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power according to the power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel. Yeah, so meaning you're gonna go through shit, man. You're gonna go through things in this world. And Timothy, Paul, you know, Peter, all the men back then that were teaching, you know. Um, John the Revelator, all these men that were teaching, they were going through things during these periods that they were in, in Rome or wherever the Lord had them, Tarshish, Rome, wherever the Lord had them, they were going through things, man. They were dealing with the, the, the demons of that time, man. All right, but guess what? What, what? what kept them going? What kept them going was the testimony of Yahweh Shai. They had a mission. So it's like us, we have a mission. And you know, one of the main fear things that you can be fearful of is, you know, how Esau is going to do, you know, like what he can do to you, you know, the fleshly bullshit, that sting of death. But, you know, in, in that moment, Lord willing, you know, the Lord's going to kick the spirit in us anyway, man. He's going to, he's going to be with us. He's with us now. And in them, the, the last moments, he'll be with us, regard, depending on what your situation is going to be. So, you know, let me read this here. This is Isaiah, Isaiah. 41 and 10, I was just thinking about these kind of things, you know, and I like that scene in, in, um, in Apocalypto, man, he told his son not to fear, man, look at those people, they were riddled with fear from that prior neighbouring village because of the, what they had just seen, he said, don't be like that, don't bring that into our village, so this is Isaiah 41 and 10, fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power, thy power, I will strengthen thee, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. This is talking about uh, Yahweh Barshem Yahweh Shai being with us again, man. It's a common theme in the scriptures. That's the spirit of fearing not. That's a common thing in the Bible, man. Fear not, fear thou not, for I am with thee. All right. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So the Lord is going to raise us up anyway. 
We ain't going to be on earth catching hell forever, man. We ain't going to be in this system with Esau just beating us up forever, man. Right? Watching our people bugged out, you know, living in this evil society. So it, can only, it can only go on for so long, man. So the Lord is going to he's going to raise us up, man. He's raising us up now with his knowledge, but he's going to raise up. His brother is going to give spiritual power. We know that, man. All right. And we just have to keep keep the faith in that. All right. It's a luck, yeah. So it says, OK, so it says, behold, all they that were incensed against thee <clears throat> shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. That's all these nations, man. All the nations, Esau and the other nations, two thirds of our people, all right? Two thirds of our people as well, they strive against us. They, 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 they scoff against us. They want to hurt brothers, all this stuff, man. You know, that, that, that um, affects you, man. It affects you, man. But guess what? What keeps us going? The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? That's what keeps us going, man. All right? There's a different spirit you know, on the believers of the, the true believers of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, not these bugged out religious people of the world, man, Christians and whatnot of the world. The believers in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, there's a different spirit on us, man. All right? We keep plowing through the bullshit. All right? So the Lord said it. He said, They that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that, that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. That's the Esau and the other nations, man. And the two thirds. All right? Because, hey, even the two thirds, they got things that they got to pay for in this life and their past life. You know, they, they've killed the prophets, they've harmed the brothers, they've, they've even in this life, lifetime, the two thirds, what they've done, try to jeopardize brothers' work, um, jobs, spread lies about brothers, all kind of shit, man. Getting brothers' information. But guess what? The Archeums have still, brothers that have gone through that are still fighting. They're still, you know, fearing the Lord, man. So thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord, thy power will, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee as a new sharp, freshened instrument. We're going to get risen up. We're going to get risen up. All this work that brothers have been doing from the apostles on down, you know, fighting through the bullshit, the anxiety, the, the, all these feelings that you go through, these range of emotions, right? Guess what, man? There's going to be a reward in the end. You're going, we're going to get risen up, all right? We're not going to, when we get, and guess what? When we get risen up in a new body, man, we ain't going to be the way we are now. We're going to be brand new, no aches and pains, a new mind, strengthened physically, spiritually, all, all everything, man. Unstoppable, man, basically. So behold, I am with an A. They show you that kind of concept in the X-Men Apocalypse. When Apocalypse came back, right, he was strengthening the mutants. He was strengthening... They were already strong, but what he did is he put, a, he put like a godly power in them. He, put, he gave them their... He give, him, he give them a portion of his power. He, you see that in the beginning with Storm. She starts talking about the laws of society and he talks to her about he says laws then he tuck, he puts his finger under her chin she says what are you doing and he says making you stronger he says I think he calls her a goddess but he says making you stronger because she's talking to him about the laws she, I think she was in Egypt she's talking about laws and whatnot there's laws in place for these things he said laws he's a god <laughs> he makes the laws and that's like the lord man he's going to raise us up man we ain't going to be in these earth, earthly weak bodies, man, having to deal with this shit. The Lord's going to make us, like he said, thou shalt, behold, I will make thee a new sharp, freshened instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt fresh the mountains and bite them small and shall make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt, yeah, meaning what are we going to, meaning we're going to mess people up. All right. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp, freshened instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and Beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. And that's, the, that's what's going to happen in the future. Meaning we're going to bring down the governments of the world, basically, when Yahweh Shai returns. All right? But you see, before he comes back, we're going to have to, you know, deal with some shit, basically, man. These, like, like I was saying, these range of emotions. You, you know, sometimes you might feel fearful. Sometimes, you know, depression, anxiety, stress, all sorts, man. And coming at you from all different angles, man.
all right? But you've got to keep, keep fighting through. So let me um, read this as a last one. This is Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 33 and 3. Isaiah 33 and, oh, so lucky. Isaiah 33, 33 and, uh, where was I here? Is it, is it 30? Where am I here? No, Isaiah 34. Uh, where was I? So lucky. I think I got that wrong there, you know. Bear me a second. Oh, is it forty one? I think uh, uh bear me a second, I uh... Oh, this is the one, thirty five and four, so lucky. Because I had it written down, I wrote it down wrong there. There's Isaiah 35 and 3, so lucky. So it says, strengthen ye the weak hands. Isaiah 35 and 3, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. All right? So, hey, that's a, um, you, know, a, you know, we know that that's what brothers deal with, man. You know, like basically, you know, you feel weak at times. You're, you know, you're, you're jacked up. All right? So we need strength from on high. See, we, see, we know that. Nothing in the flesh is going to change this situation that way. We're not going to, Esau's going to forever be on top if it is a fleshly thing. What did the Lord say? If this work be of men, it will come to naught, man. But if it be of the Most High, no one can disrupt it, basically. So we have to wait for the Lord, man. But we have to deal with the, the like I say, the range of emotions of this society, man, this world that we're in. This is Isaiah 35 and 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a, of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. Even the power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, with a recompense, he will come and save you. So this is this is the reward, man. So we've got to fight through those things. So anytime you're feeling any doubt or fear, you you know, remember, remember Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, what the Lord went through. Remember, he's coming back. What did he say? He says, Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. Even the, your power with a recompense, he will come and save you, all right? And that's what that's what we're waiting for, man. So, you know, with that, I'm going to say all praises unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to the hopeful elect Akim teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rokha, Kudash, shalom, shalom.